Oh god, so many dead people. Oh god. Oh no. Okay. When Lily reached the swing tree, she found no trace of Edna. Garrett had vanished too, but the remnants of Edna's diary were lying in the grass. Take it. It had been burned and was no longer readable. Only the map of Edna's hiding place could still be deciphered. Okay. Ah, it's a cave at Moore Lake. Lily was just trying to memorize the way when... Oh, oh, okay, okay, great. Psst, Lily, hide! Dr. Marcel and Mother Superior are coming! Oh no, too late! Oh, sh- There she is! You probably thought you could escape my examination. Run, Lily. Or is there another reason for disobeying Mother Superior's instructions? Uh-huh. Well, let's hear it. Entertain us. Hmm. It's all Edna's fault. Garrett made me do it. Dr. Montez is evil. Berries for Mother Superior. Nazi vampires in the backyard. <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> this is taking too long for my taste. <laughs> uh oh. No, 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 no. God damn it. Was that really necessary? Not really, but it brought some satisfaction to an old man who has had to deal with defiant children one too many times. God damn it. He tased me. You must not contradict adults. You must not lie. You must not play with fire. You must not use sharp objects. You must not touch alcohol. You must not hang around dangerous places. You must not lose control. And you must never follow your own wishes. Woogie, woogie. Wee! Wee! Woogie, woogie. Okay, that's Harvey. Woogie. Ha! Woogie indeed. <laughs> and? Did it work? We'll find out in a moment. Lily. I'm sure you can tell me who's responsible for all the chaos in this institution. Okay. <clears throat> the chaos, Lily. Who's responsible? Now start talking, you useless ch 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 Remain calm, Mother Superior. She'll answer. She'll answer. Do you know the answer, Lily? Who's responsible? You can tell me, can't you? What's going on? What did she say? This case is more complicated than I thought. It's eminently important that you tell me something. Do you know a girl by the name of Edna? Whoa, everything is dark. You ask? I think I've just pinpointed the root of all this evil. It's good that I was able to install all of the important behavioral blocks inside Lily with the aid of my new hypnotherapy. Hypnotherapy? Hypnosuggestion, to be precise. The light diodes that I have installed in the eyes of this stuffed rabbit. Help me take direct control over Lily's free will. From now on, she will behave very calmly. But here, just try it out for yourself. Try it out? That's right. She's now as obedient as a little lamb. Well... Go ahead. Lily, serve the doctor and me some tea. Bravo! Ha ha ha. Well... I'm thirsty anyway. What do you say now, Lily? Would you like to serve her some tea? I will you kick you. Uh, I will say never. Uh -uh. Oh. Uh -uh. Oh. Uh -uh. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> 
So restriction, do whatever you want. Okay, we can't do anything. We have to unlock these. So let's go to the teapot. Psst, Lily. Mm -hmm. Don't be afraid, Lily. It's me, Garrett. Please stay calm. You were hypnotized by Dr. Marcel, and now you're completely in his control. But don't worry, I can help you. But you'll have to come with me to my secret room. You can find the entrance in front of Mother Superior's office, in the dark corner next to the fireplace. But first, I need your help. I've been watching Mother Superior and the Doctor for a long time, and I'm very close to unveiling their evil deeds. All I need is a confession. Here, take this extract of Deadly Nightshade. It's a truth serum. Pour it into Mother Superior's tea. Okay. As soon as she drinks it, she'll start spilling all of her secrets. Did you understand? Uh-huh. Excellent. Lily, what are you doing? You're supposed to be making us tea, not staring at paintings. Oh, don't be so harsh on her. Lily will complete her task. But I have to confess that I have also admired your gallery. I'm especially interested in this embroidery over here. It's a bit unusual, don't you think? Oh, that one. It's just an old keepsake. Hardly worth mentioning. I can't even remember hanging it there. You can't? Interesting. What is it actually an embroidery of? An eight-legged unicorn? It's only the embroidery of a dumb, irresponsible... Child! Nothing else. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Let's pearl this in the tea There pot. was only enough serum for one cup. This time, Lily wanted to do everything right. Some tea had to be put into the cup this time. Okay, teapot. This riddle had already been solved. <laughs> okay. Speaking of a riddle. Uh, here, Mother Supporter Ignitz. Lily! <sighs> you clumsy good for nothing! Do you really want to embarrass me in front of the doctor? Hmm. That is strange. The hypnosis is foolproof. Ah! It was probably just an accident. The whole ch ch child is a total accident. If I c c c could, I would get 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 get. But please, Mother Superior, do calm down. Lily will complete her task, right, Lily? Uh huh. Well then, please bring us some more tea, okay? Be so kind. Lily didn't show it, but she was close to panicking. Serving more tea was no problem. But where would she get more truth serum from? Well, I have it in my pocket. In front of them so they never will um, see Lily this. already had enough. They have. The narrator was slowly losing interest in coming up with motive. The truth of the matter was... Yeah, no. But what's she doing now? But we don't have any cups yet. Is that really part of her conditioning? <laughs> no worries. She's hypnotized and incapable of making any mischief. Do I have cups? What's this? Edna's map. She'd look at the map later. She hadn't expected that this decision would have unpleasant consequences. Oh, wait. The funny rabbit with the glowing eyes was sitting indifferently on the chair. Maybe Lily would be allowed to play with him for a while. Hmm, what can I do? What can I do? The cheerful flower seemed to like Lily. At yeah, least. Yeah. Lily. No, I have nothing. The narrator was the. Ch Some of the cups had bite marks. The calming tea didn't seem to work very well. <laughs> Um, you know what to do. Do it. Do it. Stop dawdling. Serve the doctor and I some tea. Be patient. Lily will complete her task. My new method is infallible. Hmm. 
Oh, I see. I see, I see, I see. Hello, Lily. You're not going to play with fire, are you? No. Uh -uh. I just wanted to be on the safe side. Oh, damn it, I can't play with Lily fire. Lily carefully placed the kettle on the hook and made sure not to touch the fire. Lily's special tea was ready. She yes. called it pure truth, a blend of rooibos and deadly nightshade. Thanks. So now... Put it on teacups. <clears throat> All right. Now give it to Mother Superior. Finally, it's about time. Stupid chop, chop, chop. Are you feeling all right? You are downright hysterical. It's that embroidery. <laughs> it reminds me of my <laughs> childhood. <laughs> I was well. such a stupid <laughs> child. <laughs> I so wanted to have a unicorn for a pet. <laughs> A unicorn? Can you believe it? But what they gave me instead was... <laughs> a tarantula. Ah, then you're the one who embroidered this. Shaggy died while I tried to attach a horn to her forehead with a nail gun. Oh, God. I was such a stupid... Child. <laughs> Child. <laughs> Um, are you okay? I loathe children. Hmm, I understand. The adults seem to be busy with adult problems. This was Lily's chance. Uh, goodbye. Okay, in the corner. Bracket. There seemed to be some kind of bracket up on the wall, but Lily couldn't continue without more light. So finally I have to... okay. Can I take the torch? You know that I will play with fire? Oh. Hello Lily, you're not... I've got, you know... Uh, Something we... A burning torch would have lit up the dark. Unfortunately, the torch had gone out. Nevertheless, okay. Lily was proud she knew so much about how torches worked. We have a torch that doesn't go because I can't play with fire. Burp. You know that I would play with fire. La, Hello, la, Lily. La, 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 You're yeah. not going to play with fire, are you? No. Of course you don't want that. You know that Mother Superior has forbidden it. Something weird was happening here. Okay, okay. How I am supposed to play with fire? Um. Well done, Lily. I've heard everything I wanted to hear. Mother Superior's obviously gone gaga. I'd already suspected that. Now hurry, come to me in the secret room. There's a hidden door in the dark corner in front of the office, right next to the fireplace outside. Yes. Oh, damn. Of course you can't make any light. You're not allowed to play with fire. I'd completely forgotten about that. One moment. Let me think. Hmm. Hmm. I think I have an idea. There isn't any way to break through a block created by hypnosis. Unless you get hypnotized again. It's risky. But you could put yourself in a trance and fight the block directly in your own subconscious. But be warned. The world inside of a trance is an eerie place. It's like a parallel universe that only exists in your mind. Traversing it without the guidance of a trained hypnotist has its dangers. And the blocks created by the doctor will probably appear as powerful demons that you can only defeat in a mental duel. Did you understand all that? Uh-uh. You don't have to. 
Not yet. Just use the stuffed rabbit to hypnotize yourself. Once you're in a trance, look for the inner demon that's preventing you from making a fire and destroy him. That's cool. Okay. 